I mean, all these beaches, they attract utopian thinkers and derelicts alike. I mean, half the time here, it's like a, someone with face tattoos, vision questing, sitting on it, and then like yeah. scuba divers. A lot of the Hammer Project was sourced along this coastline. It's like guaranteed harbor seal sighting. Okay, I think of humankind, and we've designed like fat-free frozen yogurt, and then I see these guys, and it just seems so far ahead of us. Oh, bottlenose dolphins. It's like, this is like the, the bowels of the city. I'm interested when this man-made object gets subsumed back into the environment and becomes like a glyph or a fossil. I f***ing love it. I don't think anyone's going to have a postcard of that. But that's going to be ubiquitous, you know? This is going in the, in the project. Woo! I fell into or I inherited a world of materials, you know, b before I even started collecting things for work. Once we established that I was going to make a landscape, quote unquote, that, that highlighted what I call the ecology of neglect, you know, what happens with a decentered human perspective? What happens when you abandon a parking lot? It gets succeeded, you know, and I'm arguing that there's no terminal state to anything. You know, what happens when the Raggedy Ann head gets colonized by this kind of invertebrate. I'm presenting the, that kind of moment. I'm telling you, this is, this is the interstice of the world. Allstate floral outlet store. But these are egg sacs. And then I always count them for her. It's the language of suburbia. People want this thing that will not perish. You know, I see this in people's houses. I see this at weddings. Things continue in a very agential and wonderful way. We just may be exiting first, but taking a neutral stance, this is what is. I think there's a politics in approaching it that way. Fresh kill. <laughs> another, anyway, another source of inspiration and material. This is the best part of LA, no? A huge part of the genre started in like Los Angeles suburbia and Orange County. It's like fantasy landscapes, other worlds, different narratives. Like you're not, not it wasn't necessarily prescriptive either. It's about mass and density too. It's such a memory bank. It's a time capsule. From here and growing up in the aquarium trade and going to bric-a-brac stores and the heavy metal scene and the, the antiquing up north. I mean, it's so much in my DNA. I, like, I, I think through it. Like, I like sprawl. Tameless urban environment with no city center. I do well in that. The, the title of my piece is called Transfer Station. For the rest of the world, that's kind of a euphemism of what's known as a, as a dump site, a landfill, a wasteland. And for me, it's a place of molecular flux, the simultaneity of growth and decay. You ask me if it's done, and it's not. I feel like now I'm at, like an a, attendant or a servant to this thing. There's an ecological kind of stewardship, like I have to daily sweep the Zen garden or something. For the last few days that I'm with it, I want to just add a little bit more growth. I helped to author this environment, but I think it did its own thing too. You are not the center of the universe. That's the conversation I want to introduce. This is my monument to possibilities. Thank you.